Welcome to the NIS Full Season Trucks. Uh, we are at Charlotte today, modern Charlotte. So make sure I've got this unmuted as we head into qualifying. Got myself a Daniel setup for you and for the race. Always awesome to have and always so appreciated. Should be able to get ourselves a good lap. Um, it's kind of tricky. It's very loose in one and two on the first lap. But I think you can get through three and four a lot better on the first lap compared to lap two, where it's more stable and a bit faster in one and two, I think. Then you lose some time, uh... Lose some time, uh, in three and four, I think. By the time you got your second go around, so... Kind of tricky. I think I'm gonna race a little bit up the track here in one and two, just so I can try to be a little smoother. Just on the first lap. So it's really, really tough to hold on to it on the cold tires. I'd like to do a little bit better than that, to be honest. I think I can do better. Track feels a little bit different than it did during practice. I will need the water temp to hold on just a little while longer. Hopefully it will bear with me here. Okay, this should be a better second lap, I think. By a decent bit. 801, alright, I'm pretty happy with that. For now, that'll put us P2. Get off the gas, let the temps cool down, and then try a green flag pit stop, which I hope we will need. Holy smoke, Scott! 0.6? <laughs> what a lap. You just decided to skip the 7 range, the 0.7 range, and just say, yep, we're just gonna go straight to 0.6. Forget all you guys, I'm starting on the pole. <laughs> Still time, but. That's an impressive, uh, impressive lap. We'll see if anyone else has uh, anything for it. But getting on pit road, I've done it a couple times now. Feeling pretty confident getting down there. Um, I've also actually done some officials this week uh, on the OSR setup because I uh, didn't have Daniel's setup yet, but I got some track time. Should be nice. I'm looking for a name that I don't see. Man, it's it stinks. Cabe's not here. Um, he's like the he's the guy right next to me in the, in the points. So I really wanted to see what I could do against him. You know, I feel like I don't think I finished ahead of him yet, despite being the point leader. It's just because whenever because uh, he doesn't show up sometimes because he's busy with real life stuff. Man, I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to have the shot to race against him, but not uh, going to happen today. Yeah, the wind is crazy. That's two minutes left, two minutes. Oops. Hit the wrong buttons. I'm just like impressed by that. I just want to be like, dang, nice work, man. Um, we will go ahead and get the race setup in. I think it's okay I show this screen. I've noticed like Nick and Gavin will be will show this screen. I just can't show the other screens. So um, I've got the other stuff set up properly. So I'm going to just take that and go to the race setup. And uh, That's the I imagine That's so. P2. Being on edge. Uh, man, I'm paranoid. I don't have like the steering ratio correct and stuff though. So I will actually be right back. I'm actually really glad that I went and checked that because I actually it wasn't saved from whenever I was practicing. It didn't have the um, steering ratio and everything how I want. So I did get that uh, adjusted, and uh, we'll do some warm up here. Um, decided not to skip through it. Um, I don't know. 
Maybe I should have. <laughs> of course, there's going to be a uh, bookmark to like the start of the race, for example, if you want to just head straight there. We'll uh, get some lap time here on the race setup. Check your tape, brace set, and pit stalls. Yes, all very important. Good reminder from Nick. Truck squ uh oh. <laughs> Just a really good pit entry. <laughs> That's all that was. Very loose on the cold tires. as uh, evidenced there. Just gotta be prepared. I'm gonna do some pretty big liftoffs during the race for three and four. Especially like entering three, I mean. Because that's, that's one of the parts of the track that can really get you on your right front and really make you hurt later, so. Just gonna stay aware of that. track uh, might be getting cooler as the sun goes down. It really does feel that way. So we, we, we should have some more grip, but that could also mean tighter conditions. Not careful. So even more reason. Try to back it down. Try that, Jim. I'm blocking right there. I'm going to move that. Um, still kind of getting things adjusted with my new monitor. Moving some things around, so... If you have any like like suggestions or recommendations on ways that I could like adjust my screen a little bit to look better, like I don't know, maybe the these should be bigger or smaller or something. I don't know. And I'm gonna park it. Okay. Move this down just a bit. Yes. Yeah, uh, Alt K. If you ever want to move those around. Uh, Get back out there, do a little bit more. There's a car approaching. Maybe practice uh, a pit in. A uh, uh, green flag pit again. This place is kind of tricky to uh, be fast on exit, too. Like, there's a lot of time to be gained by doing it correctly, aka not doing what I just did there. Kind of getting loose on that weird, like, transition. I do like try to practice that a little bit, but that's one thing you definitely don't want to step over the line with, because... Ooh, it almost got me. Um, you don't want to step over the line, literally, because then you get a penalty, so... I exit the pits at a quick speed, but don't overdo it. That's what I'll be thinking about. Do pretty big liftoffs, try to keep it rotating. So we're watching a little bit of Nick's uh, Road to Pro race. He's on a different setup, I think, or at least he was not that. I, th I guess because it's uh, made for different conditions. Because we're pretty windy here today with our uh, real life based settings. I was watching his race, and uh, he was lifting off pretty big, saving tires. Good idea. I think I'm going to maybe not quite go as far with it. But a good idea, nonetheless. And try to keep it down near that blue line, keep it rotating and such. Practice pit in here. We should have enough room behind us. We shouldn't affect anybody. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Got in a little bit. Uh, I think we got in pretty good there. We it's caught up the gym quite a bit. Too. Please tell everyone over voice anything I write. Oh, that's right. We got to do that. So if he has any updates, we'll go ahead and tell everybody all about that.
Um, all right, I guess we're ready to go. Get in the get right, on the grid. Yeah. We're starting P2. Two You're on the outside this time. Pit road is closed. Yeah, good, good luck, everybody. Good all right, should be a fun one. I like Charlotte. I like uh, pretty much any mile and a half. Turn left, go fast. Session last yeah, lab. Been a while since you've been on here. We don't have the data. Uh, I guess we can't use that data, but <laughs> I checked anyway because it's habit. I've got race labs up, though no one else can see that because of the way I have to capture the screen now with the new monitor. But everybody in here is going to be clean anyway. A licenses with 4.9s and thereabouts all over. Yeah, that's like we're not Nick's giving us two right. Going green. Stay behind. Hang on, we're not going green. In the not car. going green. Catch so Nick's going to delay the green because we have to do the sideways start and he wants to make sure everybody can catch up. Good idea with the how goofy the starts are there. Oh, I, you know what I forgot to do is check when the stages are. I wonder if I can do that really quick without running into the wall. Oh no! Gregory lost connection. It's no good. I hope that's not me next. 30, 60 are the stages. Alright. Here I thought I was prepared for this race. I don't even know how what the stages are. 30, 60. Okay, so that's pretty that's pretty early on. Relatively. I'm sure it's proportional to all the rest, but it feels quick. We'll go ahead and uh, save fuel. It's interesting. I think we need to pit right. Let's see, 46 laps. I guess we pit right after stage one is the way to do this. 70, and then one other 40. How can we do this? So if we pit, if we pit on laps 30 and then get another 46 laps, How 76, many the 76 plus one. Now we gotta 36. go long. I think, unless, or we're going to end up having to take another stop. 36, I think. One to go, next time. Hmm. How many trucks were there long? 92, 100 and... 3, 120. What do you mean? Uh, how many are in the real life truck? We have to just go long on this like pit. 30, yeah, 34. I think we might 36. have to sacrifice some... Uh, I thought it was 36 across all series. I hope this goes green. That'd be very interesting strategy-wise. We might have to sacrifice stage two points in order to uh, reduce a pit stop from our overall race. Like we have to assume this will go green all the way, which I hope it does. I like I said, but... I got like first race jitters. <laughs> ah, you got it, Shane. Missed you, buddy. I did tea open last night, and my trading paints crashed, and every single truck had my paint scheme, so thank God it's not that way tonight. <laughs> that sounds really funny. Everyone has... That would be terrific. <laughs> if everyone had my grape paint scheme, it'd look like a vineyard out here. <laughs> a lot of laps, guys. Take it easy. Looks like a first gear start. Nice yeah, not the greatest start, but got enough of a start on the guys behind. You're watching for looseness. We're good, we're good. Scott got a great jump. I kind of was late on my uh, shift. Yeah, so this this could be really interesting. I think we can make it on two stops if we go long on the first run, but if we only go like 30, I don't think we can make it to the end. So we can't just pit right after the first stage. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I kind of did the math on that. I hopefully I didn't do the math wrong. I could have, and it may not matter depending on cautions and stuff, but. I hope it does matter. I think that would be very interesting.
could end up a fuel race, which there have been some really great fuel races at Charlotte in the past. Of course, you think of the uh, Coca-Cola 600, the longest race. A true test of not just the driver, but the ability for the team to build a vehicle that'll hold together the whole way. So it's a perfect place to kind of bring in some of that strategy type stuff. We are kind of getting away from the guys behind. Kind of worried we're overdriving it, but I don't feel like we are. Scott might have gotten a wall there unless that was just Neko. See Nick back there. I know he started pretty close to the front, but he might be feeling like they're going a little bit too soft. He's trying to make his way forward a little bit. I'm okay working with Scott here and just building a bigger and bigger lead. I think that would be, uh, be very helpful to not just uh, myself, but him as well, working together. Mutually beneficial if we were to do that and not fight by like side by side or anything. Big lifts off because we can. Truck feels great, of course it does. Daniel doesn't miss. <laughs> a little bit loose there, maybe. Like he might have broken his bit mid corner. Glad we're keeping up with him. He's really driving away. Part of it's us just having this draft helping us keep with him. See how much uh, we fall off, though. But not too bad. I feel like I'm being okay with the ace, but I've been wrong plenty of times before. Crew chief warning about water temperature. Not looking too bad right now, but we will keep an eye on it as he insists. It's kind of pulling away a little bit. That's fine. I'm not going to push myself just to keep up with them or anything. Ooh, yeah. I missed the mark there, for example. See, that's going to lose us about two tenths, just missing the bottom line right there. So we're going to avoid doing that. We'll back it down a little bit more. No reason to tempt bait. You can uh, go ahead. Scoot on away. We must have just like a rocket ship or something this week with that qualifying lap and then pulling away. <laughs> He's got that uh, Jeff Gordon T-Rex car from the All-Star Race. I think we're going to have to let the pace car by. Yeah. Alright, we're going to have to be really uh, careful about how we uh, use tires and stuff. Four sets. That sucks that we just lost all of that ground we made up. I was really hoping this could be a race we could go green, but... Not the case. 
Pretty good race to the back. It's all right. 26. No, I'm We're gonna out. pit here. I got a problem with my computer. It keeps blinking out. Uh, are we? I think we have to. I think we're gonna do it because I think we can make it to nah, stage two if we do. Here. But then what do we do? The pit lane speed limit is 45. I want to make it to stage two. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. We take time. I'm gonna set it back to the end. Pit box team, 10. Four. Too early, too Five. early. Three. Two, one, right here. Ninety-seven, ninety-five. Okay, go. Fuel only. They want you in single file. Jetstar, twenty-one car, half up, seventy car. Fifty laps. Yeah, so we can make it to stage two now. That's the idea behind that. Leather, but I don't want to take tires yet. Will that be a mistake? Could be. Yeah, probably is. We might come back down. I just, I'm worried about... Yeah, we'll come back down, top it off again, and get the tires. I think I've changed my mind. Yeah, did you get damage? Yeah, if you'll believe that I hit the wall. Oh no. It's open. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the wall. Yeah, you know, not even gonna joke with you on this one. I was gonna make a bet tonight for charity that if you hit the wall, I was gonna donate some more money in your honor. But I forgot when I got in late. Well, they was gonna pay it off pretty quickly here. Extra speed. Top it off. It's not too bad, right? We'll need to stop Put again. tires on it. Uh, I think it'll be alright. I just wanted to get it fixed. Mm -hmm. 30, 60, like I said, are the stages. Right. Gavin, at least you got off the way early. Three, two, Kevin, you take one. tires? Right here. That's, That's right, right, so now I can push the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, I took tires. Alright, that's cool. If my tires had been like 99, 99, Probably would have stayed off them, but five percent's enough. That move could it, be a concern. It. Yeah. I, I, Oop, don't do that. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Didn't mean to rev it up like that. I'm trying to save fuel here. Got you. Got plenty of time to catch up. Four fifty. What's this triple number sure. nonsense? You'll probably have faith <laughs> on me. I'll just get out of your way. So we'll hang around in the back. I'm going to try to move forward a bit. Should be able to make it to stage two now. I think most of us got fuel back here, so I don't think it's going to matter. I like some of that. Yeah, all I got was fuel, too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just fuel. This. I was at like 98, 97 on my tire, so no reason to get new ones. One to go. Next time by. Yeah, I'll find my mind. We'll see if we run out. I hope not. I think this can be a really clean race. I still hold on to hope that it can be. I was still setting my fastest laps. Don't anyone tell the secret about making the stage two. <laughs> so I guess I'm consistent with making the bad strategy call. Every race. <laughs> Never know, it might pay off. Uh, we can hopefully make it to the end of stage two, Kevin, so. If it goes green. Yeah. Oops. I must have missed something. What's up with uh, Nick's scheme this week? 4431 on the quarters? I don't understand. Uh, fallen soldiers in Iraq, but I can't remember which number means what. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, 30 and 60 of the stages, he just called them out, so... Yeah, so trying to remind people. Remind everyone. We're gonna have to be real patient here. Um, 
not run anybody over. A lot of people didn't take tires where I did. So. Get ready. Going green. Lots of people out here too. You have to be very smart. down on me a little bit, but we're okay. Oh, I was trying to turn in there, I thought it was going middle. Probably sick tires pretty well if we're just patient through this uh, pack as well. So, gotta take uh, the silver lining of it as well. Oh god, oh god. Nobody below. Clear up top, car outside. You're in the middle. Why did Nick just miss that one? That was scary. Yeah, that was close. Clear inside, two wide. Go low. Look at the guy turning for point 50, gonna find you guys. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Which one do you want? Car inside. My side's not great for uh, tires, but it's pretty good for getting around people, so. Inside. Go ahead and do it. Woo! We're flying! P-17. I don't know why he's so low off the wall. That easily could have killed me if I faded out. But I gave a lot of room. Just trying to be careful. This might hurt me later. If I run out of tires, but I'm trusting everybody to keep it clean. Basically, by making sure I can make it to the end of stage two, I'm potentially gambling away a couple of stage one points for the chance of any stage two points. It's kind of the idea. Alright. Another one down. Thirteenth currently, catching Shane in twelfth. Clear. 
Rotating great out of four. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Clear outside. Clear outside. I see stage points up there. That's where we need to get. Top ten. Get back into the stage. Might be tough though. These guys up here seem like they're still pretty fast. The lap time was 30.8. They're running by the wall. That's interesting. No, I don't know if I would have expected that. I feel like that's just going to be too harsh on the tires, though, so I'm not going to go up there, although maybe later I'll consider it. Definitely if we are doing like a sprint to the end or something at some point, it might be good to go up there and get some fresh, clean air. There, John. I don't have a time if I want these stage points, though. Being side by side, slowing them down. Good run at middle high-ish line. Why is he all the way down here? You gotta get up to the wall, man. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Maybe it was just me. Could have been in my head. Clear high. You're in the top ten. Alright, maybe go hard for a corner. See if we can get any more out of this. We are in the points, though. Last lap, stage one, I believe. I uh, can't quite get to uh, one more position, but take that. And now we can make it to stage two as well. So we're going to back it down big now. I just want that safe point there, Ryan. Yeah, good job, man. Scott with the stage win. Outside. Still there. And then Congo High here, you can just grab the inside. Clear high. Eighth place. Yeah, bro. Outside. Feels, uh, it's a lot of fun moving up the field. If a bit nerve wracking. Got some bumps there, got a little bit unsettled, but. Lift it off a little extra more. We're all good.
No coffin for the table. Oh, I guess this is Nick's first truck and IS race. Didn't know the rules. <laughs> I think it's 30 and 60, yeah. Yeah, that might be 30 and 60. Probably. Nah, I would have drove differently. I'm so stupid. Yeah, I was racing Ryan Hart. Wasn't I there, so I'm not going to dive it in. Uh, last spot. Be patient. A long way to lap 60, and these guys need to pit, I think. Or at least the guys that uh, stayed out probably do. Okay, Have to check up there. Pass attempt, all right. Car outside. Still there. Help us get around the guy. Clear outside if you want it. Nope, no one wrecked. It'd be great if no one wrecked. That's uh, kind of what I'm hoping for here. To keep this thing clean. Got a little bit tight there. Okay. Just gonna hang on our outside. At least until the corner where he backs it off. Get great rotation. Got a little bit loose feeling there, but I like that. Feels yeah, good. That wind out too, A little loose, Gavin? Yeah, it feels terrible after. Ooh. I thought the 11 was about to slide it up into the wall. Oh man, I feel great. This truck feels awesome. I think I was able to save tires really well while making my way through the field. Just keep hitting your mark. Car outside. Outside. I want this going to ride behind you, but I don't need to get ahead of you. Yeah, you probably should. Alright, in great position. For stage two. And I see Scott up there. Two seconds up. He's been dominating so far. Do you really like the clean air we now have? I think that's going to really help us out in terms of uh, speed. 24 and a half laps of fuel or so to get us right through. Lap 60. We gotta start doing some math though. See how that's gonna work out for us to the end of the race. So lap 60, full tank is. What did we uh, decide? It was like 50, right? Like 50. Oh man. Something like that. 10. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head. <laughs> yeah, so, lap 60. So I think we take this as long as we can, right? Maybe? I think we might as well. We're on better tires than everybody around us anyway, right? Maybe not. Ooh, that was the first time I got real loose right there. I was going to let the bottom thing, but damn, that felt good. 
That lap was at 12.6. Yeah, I was about to say thank you, and then my car wouldn't stick on the bottom. <laughs> really uh, trying to manage that bit of looseness I'm feeling all of a sudden. It's kind of giving me more grip, which is good, but I have to adjust the way I've been driving just a bit. So it's about 50 laps of fuel is what a full tank got us. Okay. It said like 49. So we can probably do 50 if we needed to stretch. It's 110. We would have to pit again. But we will have to pit again. After. Oh my gosh. Very loose race car up there. That's Rick. So I think we take this to empty got in the middle right there, buddy. on fuel. And then, good keep it up. yeah, I was trying to get a runoff board. Divide it in half for the final run. I think it's the way we do it. Are we getting loose out of four all of a sudden? It's not. It's not even necessarily good loose. It's kind of like a four-tire slide loose. So I have to really be careful not to overdrive it on exit and end up in a wall. That would be not. I think the tires have evened out a bit. Not really catching Scott anymore. And in fact, Dylan, I think, is coming back to us. Oh, I almost slid right up into the wall. That was scary. Thought I was going to get it. Oh my gosh, what's Rick doing in front of Scott? Slowed him down, I think, whatever just happened. I just saw him all of a sudden changing lanes up there. Easy, Sorry easy. Sorry about that, Nick. Wasn't paying attention. Alright, Colton, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. People coming out of the pits, I guess they ran out. I'll try a middle, a higher line here. Now that this thing's loose. See how that turns out for us. I think that's actually going to be better in one or two now. This time, At least it was, compared to that last lap. No one around us, I think, can make it to lap 60. I just gotta get on that right front a little bit more or something, because it's a little bit too loose for me. Oh, Scott's pitting in. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't right behind him because I didn't see it in the chat. The lead is bidding now. You're in third. You're in the lead. Your last lap time was at the yellow line. Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding, man. Single fire. Pit road is closed. Jetstar 82. Car. What does this do for us? I guess we're in the lead, so it's good. We're under caution. It's closed. Sorry, I had no idea you were pitting there. Sounds like it was a pit related issue. And I called it out, pit me. Pit is running up on my butt. On that up, not pit me. Alright, waiting for the 33. I heard you, James. Left us one. Car by. One. Left us 33. Car by. You had the position when the yellow flag I came think down. That's stupid. Yellow flag on pit exit got me. Left us one. Yeah, that's the worst. That's really when the yellow flag came out. Yeah, I'm gonna nickname it the Gavin. It got me. Pete Road is now open. All right, we'll pit in. We'll have the yeah, lead. I think that's what Nick calls it. For the next restart, I believe. Unless someone really lucked out somehow. Just feed them in the 
pits. All right, we're getting our box well. Get this thing filled with fuel. Everything's checked. Five. Hey Shane, what were your tires three, doing that run? Two, one, right here. My whole run was 65 front. 72, 74. Feeling good. Feeling good. And even though I'm a little bit on the right front, you can see the left rear is wearing a little bit more. Helps out with the handling a little bit once that way. Go. Oh no! Tires unchecked for right Leffler, I think. I was taking it pretty easy most of the first of that run. So what do we divide in half now? Because we have to pit one more time. Let's see. Yeah, I was, and then, you know, I was thinking it was 10 to go before a caution, so I went ball to the wall. Dang it, Scott's in the lead deep. now. Oh, well. He was before, anyway. Hey, you were more even than me. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad he didn't get that glitch where it puts him behind, uh, even though he should have really it. gained from it, because I think that's the exact situation where that can happen. Was, uh, so I'm glad he didn't encounter, uh, encounter that glitch. I guess it would have been good to just stay out anyway, but I trusted that it would go green. And we still got points, so. Still got a very good shot at uh, points here as well. I'm just going to fire off, to be honest with you. Try to get the stage win. I put the rock set in, because I didn't get caught by the boat like an idiot. I'm trying to get the lead, get some clean air. I don't know. If he fights really hard, though, I don't know how much I want to kill well, the truck. Scott lead. Hmm. Oh, that sucks for Alex, too. Scott just barely get, was able to luck out and Unfortunate. get that spot up there. I had 10 seconds of damage from I don't know when, so I figured I'd take mine. We'll come in and pit. Um, well, I went into pits. Uh, 95? Pits, and now I'm 29. So. 95, I guess. Shoot. And that should be our last stop. But of course, nothing ever goes according to plan, so we will adjust if necessary. Two sets of tires left. I have to be careful about when I take them if we start getting a bunch of cautions. Come on, 33. Let us go. We'll keep this thing full of fuel just uh, because. Try to save some. Because we can. At least I'm not starting 35th now. Yeah, I'm just here for fun anyway. I already go through the field once, so let's do it again. It's been a pretty damn good time, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been good racing. Right? I've enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure you guys are me. I had new tires and I fucking hit the wall because I got scared that someone was going to come up. Yeah, I was right behind you when you uh, touched that wall. Well, co opted that wall. I hope I did okay coming yeah, through the, the field. Me. I thought I was going to wreck the. Uh, took one. I hope I didn't mess up anyone going through the field with the fresh tires. I really tried to be patient, but it can still just be very concerning. That was a weird start. He like slowed down and then sped up. Oh. 
bottom. Clear inside. So I'm gonna push in one and two, probably not three and four though. Whoa! Oh no, not Alan. The yellow oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think that ends the stage. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Pace cars out. Line up. Single file. Car car uh, that was all my fault. Uh, I really wanted a chance. I really wanted yeah, to try know, to win the stage. I had to hit Gavin because he was slowing up pretty good, and then it just darted right, and then it was over for me. So, but the bomber. I have to have perspective though. I'm whatever wreck happened back there, they've got it worse. Uh that was the next ad. That stinks. Oh good dude, no problem. Hey Ron, can you check my uh right room? Uh oh, Thompson might have a little bit of damage, sounds like. Um and she's a little damaged. Did that in the stage? It? Yes. No, he did not do it. Nick says that the stage ended at the caution. Hey, uh, 95, if you want me, to, if you want to come up here, I'll look to see if you got any damage. I don't know if that was Nick or not. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Uh, I can't complain too much about a P3. That's not good. I'm gonna get a drink real quick, pardon me. Oh yeah, you're cold. Super hot in here because our air conditioning in our apartment complex, it's working, but it's not very cold. It's like putting out like slightly cooler than just average air. <laughs> so it's not terrible. But it's been pretty hot outside, so it's not been great by any means. And especially when I'm really, like, focused in and got the adrenaline flowing doing this, I'm uh, well, overheating. <laughs> it's like being in a real car, real race car. 120 degrees. Or higher. Uh, could someone call the pace car, like, in between? In what? P3 will be a good starting spot. Closed. Pit road into closed. It's closed. Man, we just barely missed having a one-lap shootout for the stage two. I'm, I'm actually maybe kind of glad that didn't happen because that might have ended up messy. I don't really want to be that aggressive or just a stage, you know, and risk anything too bad. But I think it was what a uh, was it eighth or ninth that got the first stage? I think it might have been ninth. Maybe it was eighth. I don't remember. Eighth or, eighth or ninth. And then a P3 here for stage two. So we've uh, gotten points both stages. That's good stuff. Now we just got to finish it off. Let's see now. Sam Gavin, you're doing this again. 95, 97. Probably lap 97. We'll I have to make up any yeah, I apologize again for last week. That download just got me in that one turn. Nah, it's all good. I somehow made that all back up. <laughs> yeah, it was good. At least you got fourth. But you could have probably just did it for the... Hey, I was in that wreck too. Where's my apology? <laughs> yeah, I apologize. You too. Wait, you're doing good this race, Colton. I'm just like going through the whole thing again. I'm just kidding, man. I was able to make it back up that race, too, so no worries. I mean, I think you got this one in the bag holding as fast as you are. Nah, nah, there's a 
handful of real fast guys up here, so we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, you got it, man. <laughs> Nintendo Zelda Pike, nice. All right. I'm gonna do is probably second gear. I don't know if first gear's been working too well for me for the restarts. I might regret this. I hope I don't, but try second gear. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. The next yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty good. He's leaving it wide open for us. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear up top. Alright. The next car's the leader. He's in off real big. Real into three. You're back in connection. We've just done 32.1. Man, Scott's real good. He's able to put it right on that blue line. You can see his truck rotating down there. He's really the one to beat, not me. To be, I mean, not even being just modest. Like, he's been leading all these laps. And he looks like he has a really good handle on how to get this truck rotated and save the tires while still being fast. He's looking really good. The guy behind has just done Uh oh, why is my cue bar doing something? Oh my god, don't do this to me, please. Go away, no orange. No orange. Alright, yes, go to green, and then go away. Thank you. Bye bye. Not welcome here. Cut up Scott just a little bit. He might just be backing it off though to save. Bar thing's gone. I was about to ask to make sure I wasn't blinking or anything. Looks like it's probably good. P2. Man, he's braver than I than I am going down to that blue line. We'll have ourselves a nice drive here. Not do anything too crazy, kind of be nice to the tires and all that good stuff. Maybe he'll get loose, maybe he'll overdo it. I seem to be getting pretty sideways mid corner going down there. Plan still is about lap 97. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh oh, the wreck. Oh, that key left. Ah, uh, see you later. No caution, but maybe he slapped the wall or spun or something. Oh, 
the blue line pretty good there. If I could do that every lap, I would. But that's uh, getting the tires perfectly on the blue line. Just that much precision. Very difficult to do. I don't know why I lifted that much in the turn one there. I kind of messed that all up. I didn't feel good at all, but I just did. I lifted like I was going into turn three. Just not really what I needed. Nick, uh, Nibon in third. He's on a Daniel set, but a different one, probably. Maybe not. Maybe he's uh, moved on from the Road to Pro. It's, uh, he was using the Road to Pro setup from last year, I think it was, for his Road to Pro this year. But maybe he switched to the setup for this one. We had the same setup. Not sure. It's kind of gaining on us right now, though. He's got a cool Memorial Day paint scheme special going on. A cool truck. It's got the same grape as always. Because I'm lazy, I guess. <laughs> also, I don't really know how to do custom paint schemes, to be, to be completely honest. If I did have a scheme, it would just be for trading paints. A little bit of lap traffic and up. Shouldn't be too much trouble, I don't think. Trying to catch him at a bad time, but we're okay. I think it hurt Scott more than it did me. Four laps of fuel left. Should be plenty for whenever we plan on coming in. It'd be great to have my uh, first win on the season, but for Scott's gonna make it difficult. Feels like I've been Your are now back to normal. for as much uh, as well as I've been doing. Not complaining. Been finishing a lot of third places. It's been very good for the points, but with the uh, win in your end format of the playoffs, it'd be really nice to get it locked in with a win. Even though I think I'm pretty, uh, pretty solidly there, as long as I continue to show up for all the regular se season races. Sometimes that's how we gotta do it. Rated 74 here at Charlotte. Lap traffic at a weird time, but we're good. Just lift it off a little extra for a shallower entry. Make it work. My wife should be home soon. Say hello whenever she comes in. I don't have to, but I will. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I'll have anything for Scott, I'll be honest. He's uh, looking fast. He's not. He's, uh, Keeping it. Oh, he missed the bottom right when I say something. I'll take advantage of the opportunity if I can. He's gonna fight me for it. Understandable. Made a mistake, and I didn't want to just wait behind necessarily. It's 
gonna help, he's gonna help the guys behind catch us doing this, but understandably not gonna want to let go of the spot. Even if there's a lot of laps to go still. Still the one on the lower line, so you can see the tires better down here. I feel like I'm in a good position. Comparatively. So the shallow entries aren't great. Alright, no power by. That's fine. Make them work hard for it for a couple laps. We didn't lose all that much to the guys behind. Almost looked like he pushed again right there in one and two. Push bad out of four there. I think he overdrove the entry. It's working them over. Need to do it right away. I don't really want to go to the inside in three and four. Wait for the right opportunity. And I think it's going to come in one and two because he's been struggling the past couple of laps there. And I would like to make sure that if I do get on his uh, outside, I can make it work, make it stick, instead of fighting for a bunch of laps. That's not going to help either of us. Bumps wrong that time. Dylan's coming up on us all of a sudden. Oh, I'm getting loose. I hate that. For some reason the 16 taking the bottom it really hurts inside, Scott's corner. Clear That was a little bit faster. I was getting a little bit loose, so I wanted to try that. On Frank. Scott's gonna catch him at a bad time. Not so much, I think uh, I got to the exit of the corner quick enough. Car outside, that's 1.5. Outside is clear. Whew. It's tough. It's got very, very loose. Wow. 
sideways out of the corner. Grab the middle line again. Run. Man, that really wasn't all that great, though. Oh my god, what are we doing? Sides are not working in three and four. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there. Still there. Clear. Hello, please. Nah. Seven still a plan. I can't get too excited about undercutting or anything. Gotta stick with what's best. Uh, our lap was supposed to go high. Yeah, that's a good reminder. Just be predictable. I don't care where you go. Go high. You've just done a thirty one point eight. Well, they're a little bit faster than in than oh, I yeah, am now. Go high, right? I think uh I'm not gonna give a call on that because these guys are battling hard and they're the ones that are gonna have to reach the lap traffic, so. I'm getting real out of control. That turn wall, turn four wall, really feels like it's coming at you at a thousand miles an hour. Right now, it's coming at me so fast because of how much this car's sliding. Just loss of grip. I have to keep in mind Nick is behind me, so I will have to make it very clear when I am pitting, when I'm doing it. Whoa, that was close. Hey Kevin, I'm hitting this time, just heads up. It's me telling Nick that I'm hitting in. All right, good pit in. I'll take that. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Tires, fuel. Pit box team. I want to win, man. Five. Three. Four. 
Three, two, one. Right here. All right, got it stopped. Seventy-one, seventy-three. So pretty on par with how I've been racing, though I was a little harder than I wanted to go. So we one lap undercut those guys. Move it, move it. Underrated important part of this, getting off pit road. Three hundred yard drift into uh, into the pits quarter. All right, go green, please. Green flag laps. I really need that to happen. Trusting the field again. I've been burned already, but I'm trusting the field again. At least let it cycle. Slow car go along. There we go, flying past the leaders. Okay, Colton, we need to pass Berman to get the lucky dog position. The car inside. Still there at the bottom. You kidding me? Still there inside. You're in the middle. Three Seriously? Wide. Clear. There goes all the progress I made from short. That sucks so bad. Outside. Go low. Outside. Clear. Outside. Clear. Outside. Inside. You're up top. Three wide. Hold your line. Inside. Maybe Nick Robinson three makes it three wide. Go high. Clear. Outside. Clear up top. Outside. Clear. Outside. He was just more aggressive there. Stay low. Getting through lap traffic. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Outside. Clear. Outside. Car inside. Still there. Inside. Clear inside. Really don't want to be fighting side by side here. Oh my god, he's on the wall. This has been very scary. Dog position. Go, go, Ryan. Get the car outside. Clear outside if you want to. Nick's pitting. Go high. The lead is pitting now. You're in the top ten. Car outside. Go low. You've already wrecked me once, man. I'm sorry, stick your hand. Alright, that was a thing that happened. It looked like that guy was turning left, so I stayed high. I got out of the corner, it looked like he darted left for a second. Got confused. Scab and he's going long. He's got damage. Clear up the top. Left traffic really hurt me. Pretty bad. But we're still in it. Nick Robinson was more aggressive with it. Probably got held up less. He hit on the same lap as us. You 
back in fourth position. Ah, this one's a 360 So we're on the lead lap. We're catching some guys that are going ultra long. Ah, I might go out some more damage. And I'll run up there. I'm coming in this side. I think we're in a good spot if we can somehow save tires better. Because we're getting uh, the draft of somebody who's pushing a little bit harder, I think. So we get a little bit of the benefit of that speed without, hopefully without, excuse me, the uh, tire fall off. So I already had to do some bad things with the car, just trying to get around lap traffic. Officially back in P1 and 2. But we've got a different guy in front of us this time. He already looks like he's pushing. He almost hit the wall there. It's good racing, just stressful Sorry racing. Sorry about that, Gregory. I didn't pee back there. Hope we can hold on to our spot with those guys behind us. I think they are catching slowly. It's only one lap difference on tires, but it's a difference. Like I said, I feel like I hurt the tires having just to avoid lap traffic, and I lost a ton of time. Slamming on my brakes at one point, for example. Typically, slamming on your brakes is not a good way to be fast. But fun fact. Not very commonly known. <laughs> I don't think uh, Nick necessarily has the long run pace. He's already looking like he's struggling. Robinson, I mean, ahead of me. So many Nicks in this series. I kind of wish he would hold on a little bit longer. Um, nice to have his draft. He's like moving up off the bottom like that. I think it's got to be bad on the tires. And man, Scott only one second behind us though. There's a lot of laps left. Not relative to the whole race, but 20 laps, a lot, a lot of things can happen, so... That is a little concerning. Oh my god. We, why can't we just go green, man? I'm so sorry, I was looking in the mirror, I didn't even know I was going to get there. We have one set of tires left. I really got to hope for no green-white checkered. No, that was all me, man. I was looking at the lap, lead lap car coming up behind us, I wasn't paying attention. Now it's going to be a sprint. No, I was doing the exact same thing, so I mean, I didn't even, I didn't even catch it. Catch it up, 71, yeah. I'm pretty confident it's I was going to be able to... Full course yellow, oh. it's are open. Pace right now, 3-4. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that looks fine. I don't even know if he noticed. I hope he didn't, because that was embarrassing. Watch your speed limit in the pits. 
Might be able to come out in the lead here. Pitbox team, 10. Oh, it's one column. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right yeah, here. Yeah, left driver got a little bit scary. I'm sorry if I had to be aggressive around some people. Yeah, same here. And a little bit of optional. Did it hit the wall? Oh no, maybe I... Okay, punch it. You completely blew that. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Still P2. I think I would rather start P3 anyway. Oh boy. I filled it with fuel for handling reasons. I should have put more tape on it. That's fine. Should be fine. Oh my god, I just spun on pit exit. Oh, yeah. Gotta make sure I get a, a good jump. E2, my favorite. I got to go back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really didn't want this to come down to a short run. I think Scott's the easily the fastest short run. Some bug or something. There's two laps. Old tires on the track. They're not warmed up quick. Hmm. I don't know anything about that. I wonder what my damage is doing to me. I had like three seconds. It can't be doing much, but it's not helping either. Which is real bad, but it's wearing the right rear. Man. I don't know how that would have turned out if it stayed green. I feel like I could have gone around the 71. I don't know if Scott was going to catch and pass me, though, but. Hmm. <sighs> really don't like that this is. Coming down to a sprint. Uh, sorry, I know I'm just complaining a bunch right now. So what's it going to be? It's going to be 320... No, not 23. Sorry, I'm trying to do math. I'm at 11. 17 laps to go. From Something like that. Alert. Yeah, they idle at 1180, but yeah. the arrow damage does affect it anyway. Beautiful. Well, left You're on the outside. This catch the pace car. Well, the front row here, both. Guys that have not won yet. Nick Robinson back there. His very first race, if I'm not mistaken. And then Dylan has won, I think, two, maybe? At least two races, so... He's the guy that has proven he can get it done. Better be ready. I think everybody's pretty nervous. This is uh, going to come hey, down right to it. Been that long, but it was a while. <laughs> About to go green. Stop on the right. Turn left. The pace car is in. It slows down. I don't understand. I thought you were supposed to maintain pace speed. Right, I guess. Keep high. 
Well, that was a development. Oh my gosh. I think she's got some damage now. Now look out pit road. So, what just happened? Um, I think that was Nick Robinson? <laughs> No. So Scott got loose. Nick tried to avoid it. So unfortunate. Dylan slid into Did the pits. Up, Nick? I was walking home. That um, all developed as I was behind Nick, and uh, I'm just so glad I didn't make the sun now. Wow. I don't know how I made it between that car and the wall. I also don't know how you made it between me and the wall. I was sideways in my right rear corner hit the wall, but not hard. Did did uh, Scott actually get damaged or? Got the lucky dog. Let them past on the outside. I was afraid who that was. I'm sorry. Did Dylan Keynes get the lucky dog after getting his black flag Dylan, cleared? Dylan, all the damn good save though to go down pit road. Yeah, my own was flipped. No. Letter 76, carbide. You had the position when the yellow That's flag came out. That's up for you, Nick. I mean, you gotta lose. It's pretty smart thinking, I guess. To just make oh, sure you man, don't hit man. the pit entry that, that, barrel. I, I can't even be mad at that. Like, it is what it is. He would have never done that on purpose, and honestly, the neck would have made it a little bit more severe. Yeah, but you had a good run going. Sit so up. Yeah, I was worried this turning into a sprint would get ugly, but that yeah, was a great run, man. Yeah, man. Turn up 34, came to the field. I'm, I'm proud of that. I mean, that's a compliment to me. I'll take that win. <laughs> you up, Nick? Yeah, as soon as I hit the wall, it blew up. I feel like people are doing first gear. I don't think I can do that though. It's it's really. That's not too bad. This is my first race. I love racing with this group, man. This is probably one of the cleanest, best racing groups. It feels like I raced in 2015. <laughs> That's cool here. I guess he's been around a while. Scott does have damage on the right side. He might have already had that though. That's, I don't know. Pretty crinkled on that right rear. It's going to be an even sprintier sprint now. <laughs> what are we going to restart with? Uh, let's see. Two to green. One to green. You're probably going to blow right by me, Shane. <laughs> it's going to be a, like 12 lap shootout or something like that. I just want to put a little on that bottle without a other one. <laughs> Right, got a match, at least. Oh boy. Well, hopefully Scott doesn't get loose again. Especially if I'm going to be on his outside. Shane, you've been working a lot. I have, you have, you have, you have, you have, you have, it's closed. I had some family stuff come up in April and then got over that. And yeah, I, I'm a wildland firefighter. We had a big fire in North Carolina. I've been on it for the last few weeks. I thought he was going in the pits for a second. I'm like, oh my god, what? Sorry about your family issue. <laughs> and that sucks about a fire. Is that that fire over towards the coast? That Q bar is doing a thing again. Yeah, I swear it only ever acts up on a race or two. It's done enough. Shane, what part of North Carolina are you in? Down here to coast, I'm about 30 minutes north of Wilmington. I couldn't hear any of that. Did you see that? 
Shane, I'm down in. Uh, I guess I'll try first gear this Ronald. time. Such a bad jump before. I live. I live up in the uh, Benson area. Nice. I grew up in Wayne County. I spent a lot of time with Doug Benson Drag Strip up there. So y'all can hear if uh, right if I can hear what gear he's at. So let's do it. <laughs> I feel like I hear first gear. Jim, my negative on that. I know you got good back. Oh, all right, I got it. Vincent, man, you ain't been there in a hot minute, have you? Yeah, it's a lot of motorsports now. All right. I still make it. Twelve to go. Yeah, I'm. I'm too young to really think of it as Dun Benson, I guess. Get ready, going green. Good luck, y'all. Yeah, we'll lap down that track. <laughs> Same here. Cannot do these freaking restarts, man. I cannot figure out these restarts, man. This is crashing. Outside, clear. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Outside, clear. Forward to the lead. Outside. It's coming to my outside. Here to go. This number. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. You are the leader. Nice and smooth. Uh, I slid there, but we're okay. Gotta hold on to it, though. Scott's got arrow damage or something. He's slow on the straightaways. I think we just gotta go. Tire wear's not gonna matter too much, I don't think. Hopefully Scott gives Nick a good battle. Give me room to work. Alright. Keep this thing under me. Sure I don't overdrive. I still don't want to overdrive three and four because if you get tight and hit those bumps, you lose so much momentum. Nick had a great three and four right there. Caught up just a bit. Just Oh, he's so much better in three and four. I feel like. You get distance in one and two, however. It seems that way. Is Nick trying to go high? No, he's taking the middle lane. How's that going to work? Oh, he got a huge run from that. I might have to experiment with that. Oh, he's going to get a huge run. Top side might have come in.
outside. Clear up top. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Clear inside. Car inside. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's just embarrassing. That's Still trash. So garbage. Can't believe I did that. Alex overheating? Who's that? Now I've got arrow damage. I'm getting past now. Just embarrassing. You've got two laps to go. Clear. That lap was up for the two point zero. Onto what I can. Still there, hold your line. Clear. On anything. Uh, hey Nick, no worries. Uh, it happens. So I was just trying to tear him out of everybody's way. You guys are on the path of fire. It's over. Good job. Very good job. I felt real bad about being in your way, Nick, and Colton's way, too, so I was just trying to stay out of the hell everybody's way. Awesome, race guy. So embarrassed. It was the number, and it broke his streak and was finished in second. <sighs> Sixth place still isn't bad, but I could have had a win there. I think that's what happened to Bob Lewis. I'm already pretty good. Yeah, if someone took his number, he got number six and he wins, so maybe he'll change it. Sorry. <laughs> uh. I don't even know what to say. I'm just embarrassed. I didn't deserve the win. Gotta earn the win. I didn't. Good job, guys. Everybody have a good weekend. Right, the incidents. Thank you. Gotta go quick, not see uh, any just wall hits. Definitely look like we got car contact coming up here. 82 just a little bit off the wall. Gavin gets the wall, that looks familiar to me. Hmm. Ouch, the 30 really got it bad there. 
on the inside wall. And the eight's way too high up the track. No reason for him to be to the right of that dotted line, really. Sorry. Still just thinking about my mistake. Uh, and then of course Ryan's got to remind me what it looked like. Sixty-three all race. Hmm. Yeah, that stinks for Alex. Just the engine blew on him, I guess. Some wobbles down the straight. Gavin getting loose behind the eight car there, the eight truck. Wall hits. I guess I should move faster, sorry. Uh, it's tough for me to focus right now. I just completely choked it, man. That one's gonna bother me for a while. Everyone reminded me. <laughs> uh, I'll be alright. I just. It sucks, but at the end of the day, I still got stage points every stage. Still got a solid finish at sixth. But I would like to win a race for once, you know? <laughs> Man. Ooh, and then here's the. Uh, oh, the wreck. That sucks. Couple of people caught up in this one. Thirty-three said that is uh, he had his hot key for hit in didn't work, and so Nick King didn't know that he was coming. Also, if it had just gone green, you know, nah, I can't play that game. I can't be the, I can't play the, uh, what if game because there's a thousand scenarios. What if I just didn't hit the wall? How about that? <laughs> Got to focus on the things you can control. And what I couldn't control was my vehicle. Oh, and then here's that. I think that was early on a restart. Nick Stad just loses it. Breaks it up into the wall. One caught up. Two, three, four. Oh, that sucks. Oh, and more. Oh, Gavin in that one pretty bad. I noticed he got some serious damage. Oh, man. 
He's just trying to slow down and... Yeah, that's just that it got way too tight on the track as people were trying to find their way through. Gavin finds the barrels. That's not very good. Sucks. He must have had a tough one then. 16th. I mean, that, that's still top off the field. So I guess it could have been worse, but I'm sure not what he wanted from that one. Hmm. <laughs> So moving right along. Not much going on. Still spacing out. <laughs> Thinking about my life. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. So lap 84. Tight out of turn 4. No one survives. Frank gets in the wall trying to avoid us there. The 11. Finds the wall. Four fifty in the wall in front of me. And then there's where I get hit from behind. And then yeah, what are you doing, man? <laughs> this cost me so much time. I guess it didn't end up mattering at, in, at the end of the day. But like he's he's driving down the middle of the track. And so I'm like, okay, he's going low, and then he's turning right. And that's where I got damage, right there in the left rear. Like, you gotta be predictable. Here it's looking like, okay, he's, he's turning down the track to go low, and then he's turning back up the track. And then he's just a little bit, I mean, that's closer there. I think he needs, it still needs to be closer to the wall. Probably should have just backed out right early on, but. I know, I know he didn't, didn't mean to do any of that. It's tough when we're coming by so much faster on newer tires. Oh no, Ryan. Spinning on entry. He actually gets it going pretty darn quick, though. Just did a pirouette. He's good. Stick the landing. Hmm. This was a caution here. Yeah, Shane kind of just comes up comes up to him and gets him. I think I heard him say he was looking in his mirror. Probably at the faster, at the new tires coming. Sends him around. Uh, so he didn't get to go green to the end. Oh, there's always someone that's got it worse. And that Ryan definitely was one that got it much worse. So I think he and Gavin were battling in the points. And even though Gavin had a rough day, Ryan has to tow right there, and he's going to have an even worse time. So, still got to be thankful for what I got, even if it's disappointing. For 50, uh, comes up on somebody. I almost did that, so I can't even judge on that. Oh, how do you end up turned around? So he almost comes and gets him right there, and then he's down on the apron, and then drives into the grass? That was kind of strange. Ryan said he's, he spun it on exit right there. He just hits the gas a little too hard. Oof, that's embarrassing. I've done that before.
And then Scott gets it loose and then just absolutely destroys Nick into the wall, Nick Robinson. Just like kicks him right into the wall head on. And then what else happens back here? He holds his brakes. Oh, someone tagged him. Shane on the outside, but gets the wall pretty good. I think it was the 11. Oof, yeah, gets a piece of it. Right side damage right there. That sucks. He was having a good run. Shane makes a last minute decision. Go to the outside. Sure. Shane finds the wall pretty good. Ugh. It's... Oh my god. It's so bad. I don't even... I mean, I wanted to... I just needed to clear him. So I, I gassed it up and I just... I knew I needed to clear him. I couldn't let him have the momentum on the outside and stay on my quarter panel, so I had to gas it up, and it just didn't stick. I even I waited pretty well. I, pre I waited pretty long, you know? I guess maybe not. On new tires, I figured we'd have some grip, and it just, it just never, never quite did it for me. Uh, I just killed it. I had too much damage. Aerodynamics killed. <sighs> that really sucks, but what did that look like from him from this point of view? That's so bad. <laughs> it's just ugly. Terrible driving. Alex was going to give him a shot, but his engine blows right here. So he just has to dive low and slow it down. Does a good job of keeping it down there. And a couple laps to go. Ooh, almost a caution right there. It's the uh, blue truck there almost gets hooked. Dylan back in uh, 16th after his damage. Ooh, he did. He, that's exactly what I did. I mean, he has better excuse, though, because he's probably got damage affecting the handling of that thing. And I didn't before I hit the wall. I guess maybe it was just the wind, man. Maybe the wind picked up, even. It's pointing, like, right at the exit of 4 there, I think. Actually, I think it's pointing this way, like this direction so I guess it would be kind of pushing us toward the exit I don't know end of the day it's still I just gotta control it just wasn't gripping up out of turn 4 like it was earlier in the race I guess and uh, this is afterward so uh, I blew it. <laughs> I just blew it. Could have been worse. At least I didn't affect anyone else, but I just completely blew it. My, I think that could have been, I think that would have been a win. But, is what it is. We'll try next time. Next time it's Gateway. Not sure how good I'll be there. But uh, then after that, I think we've got Nashville Super Speedway. So a couple of really great tracks coming up. So I'll be looking forward to it. For now, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> I'm going to go contemplate, <laughs> but that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you, and I will see you next time. See you.